everybody, it's Lindsay with North End Organic Nursery and Garden Minutes here today to talk to you a little bit about organically controlling pests and disease in your fruit trees at home. The time of year that we can get ahead of the game is right now. We're looking at uh, a period of time between late winter to early spring and it's ideal before the buds break to get ahead of the game. The first thing we're going to talk about is controlling insects that might be overwintering in the bark of the tree. The easiest way to do that is by spraying the entire tree top to bottom with a dormant oil. A dormant oil can be found um, in many different forms, many different brands. You can, if for a small tree like this, you can just get a hand squirt and do it up and down. You can get a concentrate, mix it with water and use um, a pump sprayer. You can also use neem oil. Neem oil is another potential dormant oil uh, product that you can use if you already have that on hand. The dormant oils that you buy that say dormant oil on them tend to be a little bit thicker and suffocating, but I've seen a lot of success just using the neem oil alone. The other product we're gonna be talking about today are organic fungicides. Uh, we have fungicides that are organic made out of copper and sulfur. We also have one that is made out of a bacteria called, now let me see if I can say this, Bacillus amyloquefacens. I don't know if that's the right pronunciation, but it's pretty cool that we have a bacterial product out there that will actually eat the fungus. I'm a big fan of using life to combat life. So it's a, a beneficial bacteria that we're using to combat a fungus that is unwelcome. So um, it's kind of neat to kind of add some balance into that. The particular product that we have um, on hand is called Monterey Disease Control. I'm sure there are other products that contain that particular bacteria. The Monterey Disease Control is what we've, be, what we've been using and like very much. So while there's no bud break yet, we don't see any greenery starting to happen in these little tips of your tree. Now's the time to do the dormant oil. I would recommend doing that um, right now and then if you are still a few weeks out from bud break, do the uh, fungicidal spray, whether it's copper, sulfur, or the uh, bacteria, right at bud break. When you start to see them about to pop, that's when you wanna spray it. You can wait another week or so after that and spray it a second time for some extra control. Some of the big diseases that we tend to see here in the Treasure Valley, especially in our stone fruits, is peach leaf curl. Peach leaf curl makes it literally so you have these leaves that kind of come out contorted, and that's a preventable fungus. In our apples and pears, we have a variety of different fungus as well, uh, one of them being shot hole fungus, and we can also help to prevent that by doing these uh, pre-season sprays. So if you are watching this video and your tree is just about to pop and you want to do both of these um, options, I would suggest putting on maybe the fungicide first because it's not oily and then you can spray about two or three days later the dormant oil. You just want to make sure that the dormant oil doesn't go on the tree after it's actually broken bud because that tender tissue doesn't really particularly like the smothering effect of uh, the dormant oil. Other things you want to be doing is looking and inspecting your tree, especially in the stone fruit family, so your nectarines, peaches, apricots, cherries. Inspect that first 18 inches off the ground for peach tree borer. Peach tree borer will have these little holes, I'll show pictures of it over here, um, where the borer actually bores into the tree and can cause a lot of damage and that's probably the number one thing that takes down stone fruits in the valley. If you see those holes and the frass that's being kicked out by those peach tree borers, um, you can do several things. One of the things I would suggest is actually finding like something sharp and pointy like a, um, a coat hanger and punching it into those little holes. You can actually impale those little guys. You can come back with an organic spray like spinosad and squirt it into the holes. Another great thing to do around the base of all the trees is use another form of life called beneficial nematodes. Beneficial nematodes will parasitize uh, a lot of the grubs and insects that are overwintering in the soil, preventing them from emerging and becoming a problem. This is a great control too for one of the other big pest problems that we have in our fruit trees here, which is coddling moth. Uh, we have a whole nother video that I will link at the end here about coddling moth control, but the first thing you can do is a preventive control using those beneficial nematodes in and around the soil for about uh, two to three feet outside the drip line and that will really help to get control in advance. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you like videos like these, we appreciate if you subscribe to our channel um, and I will get back and answer any extra questions. Have any uh, assistance needs, come down and see us at North End Organic Nursery. All these things are in stock and we can help you get them. Thanks so much for watching today. This has been Lindsay from North End Organic Nursery and Garden Minutes.